Hello, this is an extra wave. Uh, now, we didn't feel that this topic was appropriate to put in the uh, official waves episode, uh, so we're recording a, a separate uh, video discussing it. Uh, both Jacob and I were, um, oh, I guess you'd say fans or um, followers of Alex Jones of Infowars, the infamous uh, conspiracy theorist. He was probably one of Donald Trump's most enthusiastic uh, supporters over the, the past uh, 18 months. And probably one of his, uh, in my opinion, hilarious conspiracy theories has just resurfaced, which is that uh, Michelle Obama is a man. Uh, not just that, but uh, the Obamas uh, killed Joan Rivers because uh, she revealed the truth about them uh, just a month before she died. And Alex Jones was back this week with shock new footage, which uh, uh, showed a big bulge in uh, Michelle Obama's pants when she was coming out of a, a building. Uh, and so we thought we'd explore the plausibility of this uh, conspiracy theory. Let's not beat around the bush here, Tim. Uh, the evidence that uh, Alex Jones presented here was damning. Uh, Michelle, or should I say Michael, Michael Obama's shoulders were rather broad. Uh, I'd say that Michael is on the weights, probably can lift about, you know, 100, 120, I'd say, bench press. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a sterling, uh, strapping man. Uh, with a, with a rather large bulge in his pants, uh, I'm hoping that he uh, satisfies Barry with that. Um, you know, I just have to believe Alex here. You know, it's a gut feeling, Tim. Oh, it has been at this conspiracy theory for a number of years. I remember a couple of years back when it uh, uh, first surfaced. And he's, he was keen to point out that he didn't invent this conspiracy theory because there's been viral videos, uh, you know, pointing out, you know, the, the structure of uh, Michelle Obama's, you know, body saying, uh, you know, look at this, this is clearly uh, a man, man structure. And yeah, like all these, you know, uh, photos like pointing out like bulges uh, in, in our pants. But yeah, it's like, it, it, it I find it entertaining, this <laughs> conspiracy theory, um, but I just think it's too implausible to be true. Yes, Tim, it seems a bit far-fetched, but when you have these facts in front of you, one has to question their preconceived notions of reality. Now, uh, you look at Michael, and he's just, he's a big stealing man. And if Barry's into that kind of business, you know, you know, good luck to him. Uh, but it's great to see that Alex Jones uh, is holding up journalistic credibility in the United States. Just when we thought the media kept lying and lying and lying to us, we have Alex Jones here telling the complete and unadulterated truth of the matter. And I just say, God bless him. Oh, we have to remember that he was right about uh, gay frogs. I mean, uh, you know, so he has got, um, you know, so, uh, some uh, uh, quite uh, good journalistic skills. But the reason why this uh, conspiracy theory falls over to me is because, um, you know, Barack Obama, he's no longer president. And, you know, when he was president, he was pretty big supporter of, you know, LGBT rights, which we have to remember the T at the end is for transgender, and he, uh, he uh, at the White House put in uh, gender neutral bathrooms. So sort of when he was, you know, a lame duck um, president, like why wouldn't this be the perfect time to, you know, for him to come out and say, look, you know, my wife, Michelle, she used to be a man, you know, Michael, you know, and I'm, you know, not ashamed of it anymore. Like why continue to cover it up? Well, well, it's an interesting one, Tim. I think it's clear that the toilets uh, were put into the White House to make Michael feel more comfortable, you know, with where he stands. You know, I think that that's a, a graceful decision by Barry to uh, take care of his man like that. But, uh, yeah, I just think that, you know, 
give it a couple of months and, and Michael will feel comfortable, you know, to reveal himself to the world. You know, and I think that the world will be accepting of Barry and Michael, you know. We've had a bit of a progressive twist here and, you know, the world's open to this kind of thing. Uh, obviously, when he uh, first ran for president, I mean, he didn't even say he was for you know, gay marriage at the time. So maybe there was an incentive to, you know, cover it up at the time. But you would think now, uh, you know, now and now's the perfect time to reveal it all. Like, why not, you know, preempt, you know, Alex Jones? Why not say, you know, this is the truth? Well, I think there's going to be a damning interview with De with Ellen DeGeneres. You know, she was. Uh, she, I think she had the victory medal or medal of freedom put around her neck by Barry, you know, and that was probably just to secure the damning interview uh, where Michael and Barry will sit down on the couch and, you know, explain that all this right-wing Christian prejudice has, you know, forced them uh, to, you know, hide this information from the public. You know, it's just a matter of probably weeks or days. Uh, obviously, Alex Jones is a highly respected journalist and he probably he has sway on Donald. He probably has sway on Barry and Michael. So, you know, just give it a bit of time, Tim. Give it a bit of time. And it's, uh, apparently the, the clues that, you know, she's a man is, yeah, the bulge in her pants. But you would have thought that... You know, the the Obamas they they could have you know arranged to have the surgery for you know Michelle or Michael. Well, you know, that's that's a question of preference. Maybe Barry, you know, likes uh, to you know be the receiver of love uh, from Michael, uh, and I, I don't really think that we should judge him if he is the receiver of love. From Michael, you know, if if Michael wanted to have the surgery like Bruce did, you know, uh, good on him or her, should I say, depending on how he or she identifies at this current stage. But you know, I think it was damning. It, there was obviously a huge bulge in in, in Michael's pants, uh, or you know, and you can't cover up a bulge that big. So, <laughs> what can you do? Uh, and of course, the other part of the conspiracy theories is that they killed Joan Rivers because a month before she she said to uh, it was a doorstop interview. She was going into a building. Like a reporter asked, "Do you think we'll have the first you know woman president or first gay president?" And she said, "Well, we already do with you know Obama." And they like said, "You know, you know Michelle uh, is a is a tranny." And people and she delivered it in this like deadpan way, like it didn't seem like a joke. And it's like. Uh, and, and then she said at the end, uh, you know, we all know it's okay. I, yeah, well, there's there's no point pretending at this stage. Um, Joan Rivers was obviously uh, assassinated by the Obama administration. Um, this, this is no conspiracy, Tim. Uh, this is probably the most... A serious uh, assassination of a well-known public figure since the days of uh, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, uh, and I think the public deserves to know the truth. So we need to have a, um, a congressional commission. Do you think? Yes, I think that we do. Uh, honestly, uh, because when stuff like this happens, uh, to hide it from you know, the public at large, uh, just, you know, it, what it does is it creates distrust with the government and public institutions and they deserve to know that Joan Rivers was brutally murdered. Oh, well, certainly. I mean, it was supposedly, you know, routine throat surgery and there were, you know, complications and that's what led to her death. So that's why Alex Jones has been eager to point out, well, you know, she was just going in for, you know, an operation and look what happened. Well, that's what CNN tells you, Tim. And we all know that CNN is the fake news network. So, you know, I would be, you know, a little bit apprehensive to believe that. No, I think that uh, that there's certainly something fishy happening here. Uh, certainly the biggest political cover-up since Watergate, since the days of Nixon. And I don't think that we uh, 
that we can uh, have trust in the government and the, the fake news network. Well, you've heard our take on the issue. Um, I'm sure this uh, conspiracy theory will be around for uh, a number of years, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, extra wave. And if we find some some more uh, off the beaten track topics in uh, the weeks to come, we, we might turn this into a regular segment. Uh, stay tuned, folks, for more developments. Oh, uh, might, on Michael. Yeah, or another conspiracy theory. There's plenty of them, Tim. There's plenty of them. And the public deserves to know the truth. So that's what we're here for.